Good morning. This has happened suddenly but decisively. The Chinese universities now dominate the world rankings for hard sciences. The Nature Index is a comprehensive ranking of over 18,000 universities and colleges from around the world, and the scores are based on quality research output. These tables are sortable also by scientific discipline. For example, in physics, the United States didn't show up in the top 10 rankings at all. Sichuan University in Chengdu, across all scientific and engineering disciplines, is now ahead of Stanford, MIT, Oxford, and the University of Tokyo. Here are some other takeaways. Eight out of the top 10 research institutions are Chinese. Zhejiang University is in that bunch. Of the top 50 universities, 26 are from China. The United States has 14. Have you ever been to Shaman? Yeah, me either. But they have a university in Shaman that's ahead of Cal, Columbia, Cornell, and Chicago. I know about all of those. Half of the top 50 are Chinese. The number of top scientists in China is going up, and in the United States, it's going down. 2022 marked the first time that China had passed the United States. And in 2022, Chinese scientists published a third of the most influential research across the world. In the US, 2020 was the peak, and it's been dropping since. Now China has 28% of the world's top scientists, while last year the US had 27%. And we're right to wonder if maybe we could be counting a lot of Chinese scientists here as our own, because they currently work in the US for a US company or at a US university but who are Chinese and who could make this trend worse just by going to the airport. Here's the takeaway for all of it. The global landscape for high level science has profoundly changed. It's still China and the United States that dominate, but the trends are in opposite directions. The real world impacts of all this are being felt deeply and tangibly. It helps explain how DeepSeek was built with an all Chinese team for one one thousandth of the cost that Facebook and Amazon have spent to build their AI. It helps explain why our sanctions against Huawei and SMIC were certain to fail, because every year those companies just go down the street to one of the schools on these lists and hire another thousand fresh graduates, or 10,000. And that's just for semiconductors. Pick any industry, any hard science major, and the trends are in opposite directions. This is Xinjiang. Be good. Thank you for giving us water. Thank you for feeding us. And our polar sphere. And grant these missions for the name of Jesus. Father, give me your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Spirit. Give me a Spirit of wisdom so that I know your will for my life. Give me a Spirit of gentleness and love 